Secret messages may sound like the stuff of spies and secret agents, but turns out you use them every day. Welcome to Cryptography, explained by George. Anytime you go to Google, Facebook, Bank of America, and any other website that supports a secure connection, the messages being exchanged over the internet can't be read by a third party. This is because each message is being transformed from the meaningful text we can read and write into a code called a ciphertext. This ciphertext is generated using a process called encryption, which takes the message to be made secret, called the plain text, and something called the key, which, when combined with the plain text in some deliberate way, creates a code that's ideally very difficult to break. In computer cryptography, a key is a long number, the length of which is sometimes used to determine the effectiveness of the encryption. This is because the longer the key, the higher the number of key values an adversary would have to test in order to find the correct plain text. If I take a key which is 3 bits long, the maximum number of possible key values is equal to 2 to the power of number of bits in the key, in this case 8. This is a very insecure key, as an adversary would only need to test 8 key variations to find the original message. However, if I take a 256-bit key, the number of possible key values would be 2 to the power of 256, comparable to the number of atoms in the universe. Typical encryption strengths on the internet range from 128 to 512 bits, making it very difficult to test every possible key value. Now, with keys in mind, there are two main classes of computer cryptography. The first class, symmetric. Symmetric encryption is where the same key is used for both encryption and decryption of a message. If Jane encrypts a message with the key 1010 and sends it off to David, he would then decrypt the message using the same key, 1010. This shared secret allows the two parties to exchange messages securely, providing that an adversary, Alex, cannot find the key through educated guesswork or by breaking into Jane or David's computers and stealing the key. And the second class, asymmetric. Asymmetric encryption, also known as public-private key cryptography, is where one key is used for encryption and a different mathematically related key is used to reverse the effect. David and Jane will advertise their public keys to the world and keep their private decrypting key to themselves and don't tell anyone its value. They don't mind who has access to their public key as they are the only people who are able to undo the effect of an encryption using these public keys. Jane then encrypts her message with David's public key and sends it over the internet. Even if Alex manages to intercept the message, he doesn't have David's private key and as such can't undo the result of the encryption. Many times, these two approaches are used in parallel to provide additional security. Jane will use David's public key to send him another distinct key which will be used for subsequent communications, called the session key. This session key is then used in a symmetric encryption program for the rest of the exchange. Oh, by the way, you may have noticed near the beginning of the video that there was an asterisk next to the whole messages can't be read by a third party thing. Anyone who reads the news will know that government agencies like the United States NSA and the United Kingdom's GCHQ monitor network traffic en masse and as such have become the centre of some rather controversial stories. The UK's Regulation of Investigatory Powers Act 2000 requires persons to supply decrypted information and or keys to government representatives with a court order or face a prison sentence. The United States Fifth Amendment protects individuals from self-incrimination and as such there is not yet law regarding key disclosure. Modern cryptography is widely considered unbreakable. The resolve of people holding the keys is not. Hi everyone, as always, thank you very much for watching. Sorry it's been a while since my last video. Please go uh, like, subscribe, do all those wonderful social media things, and if you want to wait until the end of the credits, there's a lovely little graphic of me talking over a microphone. Wait for it. Wait for it. So close! Ah, oh, it's beautiful.